So well, welcome everyone to my new Let's Play of Thomas Was Alone. This is a little puzzle game. Um, and I have... I think it's made by Valve. I have no idea because... No, it's not made by Valve, but it's with the same actor from um, Wheatley from Portal. The little ball. So yeah, the program was a failure, people forget. Yeah, you can read by yourself because it's... it's pretty, it goes away pretty quickly. So yeah. Thomas was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. So yeah, this is Thomas. Sub Thomas. Um so yeah, the objective of each map is to get to the um, the little cube white thingy jigger to get there. So yeah. Pretty easy. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. <laughs> yeah. One. The whole alone thing. Two. Portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three. Falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. <laughs> he was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. <laughs> right, so yeah. As you as you can hear, it's probably from the same um, voice actor. I have no idea. But yes, again something with portals. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. Jump. Yeah, jumping all the way. It so, yeah. Worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> all right. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here, it was pushing him, but gently. All right. <laughs> Right, made it. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to Whoa. be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Yeah, no shit, man. Oh shit. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Man. Paranoia. <laughs> Paranoia. Obviously paranoia. So yeah, I broke. Oh. Wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. I don't know. So yeah, I broke my microphone. God damn it! Well, I didn't really break the microphone. I I just broke the thing that. Holds on to the stand. Whatever. Again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. <laughs> Mad skills, bro. Designed just for him. He wondered <laughs> why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas, it's obvious. So yeah, sorry for the lower quality. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. <laughs> right, let's swim. He made another mental note. <laughs> okay. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. So yeah, is this a checkpoint or whatever? Yeah, it's a checkpoint. Pass through respawn points to save the character's progress. Alright. So yeah, the quality in the video will be better in the next episode. Fuck, I love this game already. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Damn, this is difficult. Whip! Whip! Oh. Whip! 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 <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's go here, I guess. Doing pretty good so far. Yeah. Alright, the beds. I fucking love the music in this game, man. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. Oh he shit. Feel himself getting Damn started. you, Thomas! There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Yeah. Parkour, which is evolving. He just wished. He had someone to share it with. Oh, he's alone. 
Come on, Thomas. You can do it. Whip! Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Damn you, Thomas. You can do it. Yeah! Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as I told you, the, these little blocks think for themselves. So yeah, um, QLA scroll characters, slum keys to switch characters, alright. So yeah, you gotta work together, I think, I believe, because, yeah, this one doesn't jump higher. Yeah, we did it! Chris Scroll had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. <laughs> God damn it! Graceful. Oh, okay. Word, but you know, fine. What is that Whoa. skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place? I own a fucking place. What are you talking about? Oh, god damn it, Thomas! They tricked me. Fuck, I love this game. See so, yeah, ya, Chris. They see me sliding. So yeah, I got this um, game from Steam. It wasn't that much to pay for. Yeah. Okay. This was more like it. A glowy white thing. That's what she said. Oh. Ho -ho. Could get to it. Which of course. Made it all the more enticing. A button? Oh, okay. Do? What new opportunity? Ah, goddammit. Open up to him. Yeah, and here's sort of the puzzles. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. <laughs> Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. I love this game already. <laughs> Just the characters. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Ah! Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris oh shit! The feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. One second, guys. Sure he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Right, let's do this shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, fuck, God damn it, Thomas! Now you wait. You can wait for Chris. Yeah, I'm playing with a little bit of lag here. I, I have no idea why. Ah, oh, seriously, Chris? Uh, Thomas? Mm, Alright, Chris, you're up. Ah. Oh. This is going to be difficult. Oh. This is going to be so difficult. Alright. Uh. Alright. We can do it! Really? Mm. Yes! 
Finally! Now this little one's here. Slow and steady wins the race. Yay! And I seriously forgot to, to go out of the steam again. I'm such a professional YouTuber sometimes. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. Oh wow. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. <laughs> the vaulting idiot. The next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Shizzle on my nizzle nizzle for a second. Going like a bows. Yeah. 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 Holy shit, what's up with that? The water makes it lag everything. But yeah, I'm gonna play Windows the next time so you guys don't have to suffer so much. Whoa! This was his chance. A moment to shine. <laughs> this was what? game day. What? Game day all the way, bitches. Oh shit, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, Thomas, this is all your fault, you stupid son of a... Yeah. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. Matt skills. Was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. <laughs> Where did they come from anyway? <laughs> I love this game so much. I wonder how many times I said I love this game so much already, just in this way and just in this episode. John inhaled the air yeah. of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. <laughs> of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. Like a boss. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. <laughs> That's it's so cute. From the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> in the mirror. Yeah, Thomas, we need your help, man. Yeah, I'm coming. Like a boss. Like a boss. The sounds boss. Ah, god damn it. Oh. Alright, doing fine. Okay then. Whip. One point nine. So yeah, let's go to um two, and then we'll end this episode, you guys. How does that sound like? John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. So yeah, I reckon this is the place that's 
Yeah, whatever. <laughs> God damn it. Perhaps I can... Oh, okay. Fucking puzzles all the way. Call of Duty, I know I ain't got shit on this. Fucking better than Battlefield 3. Ah, Chris, you're so fucking short. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> late fucking response. So I think we got, we're gonna need. Um, he didn't mind them so much oh. either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, Thomas, no! Oh God damn it! Yeah. Whip. Oh, close. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> hit is gonna hit. See, so, yeah, I heard this. Cube thing is your secrets. Secrets! Achievement unlocked! No! God, Th Thomas! My, v my headphones are just fucking maxed out right now. I just love the fucking music. Oh! No! How do we do this? Alright, like that. So yeah, guys! This was the first first part of Thomas 110. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. See so yeah, at 110, okay. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. See so yeah, ya guys, I'm going to end it here. Like and favorite if you enjoyed, and if you want to see more of this amazing game. See so ya! Yeah. I really, really enjoyed this game so far, the fucking music, and sorry about the lesser quality, it fucking looks like Half-Life 1, with the, with the little moving stripes, whatever. So yeah, I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I make, alright, bye guys.